In this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to be taking Titan, one of Saturn's moons, and terraforming it so it can support life. So this is Titan. It orbits around Saturn here. Titan does already have an atmosphere, but we're going to need to make that thicker to be able to support some more heat. So actually, I think the first thing that I'm going to want to do is increase the mass, because if you remember from the moon episode, objects this small can't hold the water on the surface. They're not massive enough. They can't pull on the water enough. I found out that the easiest way to add Add mass to an object realistically because once again we're not allowed to change any of its properties but we can use tools down here if we go into tools and then click material um, we can actually add iron or silicate in here so if I just click iron and then we can here let's slow down time a little bit so I figured out that the minimum to hold water well is about 0.6 earths so we need to increase this this is gonna do a little bit of heat on it but if we turn down the speed it should help with that so if we can start throwing some on here there we go so you can see it's starting to go up right here so we want to get it to about 0.6 mass of earth okay okay I went too much oh boy I was not okay okay that's actually very close let's turn this down and just shoot a little bit more so now we're at 0.602 earths so we do want to try to keep it as small as possible just so it it you know we don't want to make it bigger than we need to and we can see it's still in orbit so that's perfect to cool this down let's actually try to use the cold laser so if we go into laser then we can use the magic cold laser where you can start to cool it down with this laser okay perfect now if we let's turn off the atmosphere so we can see it left a lot of dents in it but that should be okay um so now actually i'm gonna want to try to heat it up i think so let's go to atmosphere so we are allowed to change atmosphere in the properties because there's no way to change it any any other way um but they are gonna add that in a future update so i think i might redo some of these terraforming videos when they add that so if we turn up the infrared emissivity and then also add atmosphere layers this will help with the temperature and actually I'm gonna try to warm it up with the laser just put a gentle laser on it try to warm up the surface here um, so while that's cooling down I'm actually gonna put some water on it so if we go to material and then do water we can shoot some water onto the surface that looks pretty good so we added a little more let's turn on the flashlight so we can see a little better we want it to be more ocean than land. That's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know what the deal is with this ring here, but we're, I guess we're gonna leave it. Um, so I guess the temperature is working because it's actually heating up now. So the water might have helped with that. Um, it's a little too warm now. Um, let's just shoot it with a little bit of a cold laser just to try to get it back to a reasonable temperature. Okay, that's pretty good for temperature wise. So now let's adjust some of the some of the visual stuff. So for the atmosphere, I think I want this one to be more bluish there probably. And we can actually change the Rayleigh scattering now. Probably about there. Opacity, maybe a little bit thinner like that. And for clouds, we are going to want clouds turn them white. Um, let's just turn up the coverage. And let's do I like the thick ones and we'll do thick and turbulent that looks pretty nice so that already looks a lot better and then for city lights we're gonna turn those on so if we turn off our flashlight here we can see there's lights on the back and let's change the color of the city lights let's make um let's make them red lights just just because because we can because it's Titan people are living on Titan so yeah of course they're gonna have red lights um, let's turn on vegetation. Actually, let's wait. Let's turn off clouds. So let's adjust some of the land stuff real quick. I actually like the way that looks. I think I want a little bit more yellow. So that looks pretty good. Uh, contrast up probably a little bit. So now we can turn our atmosphere back on. Actually, I think the atmosphere is a little bit too opaque still. But there it looks pretty good. Wow. Okay. Um, change our interface color to get our light bluish color. And if we check the habitability, 20.8, which is not bad at all for one of Saturn's moons. Okay, I'm renaming it to the Green Titan because it's green now. <laughs> um, okay, so here's the final Green Titan terraformed. We got city lights on the back and it looks very, very nice. Also in the system now, let's check it out really quick. 
Um, so, so far what we've done, we've done Venus, called Island Venus. And we've done the moon, called Bigger Better Moon. And we also have done Mars, Mars 2.0. All right, leave a comment down below what planet you'd like to see next and leave a like on this video if you're enjoying this series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.